Good morning everyone! This is one of my favorite videos to watch. I feel like I say that. I said that in the last video but it truly is one of my favorite videos to watch which is going self-care shopping slash hygiene shopping. I just love to see new products, to see what's out there, taking care of your body, just yeah, I don't know. I just find it fun. So my mom and I are going to be hanging out today. We're going to be going to, I think, Target Marshalls. Um, she has to go grocery shopping after. So I have a whole list of things that I need. And actually, I just ran out of deodorant yesterday. It was a sign to make this video and spend money and go shopping and just go crazy. Just a little bit. I just finished getting ready and I'm about to head out the door. So let's go. Real quick, if you're interested on my makeup, which is only my eyes and my eyebrows, I'm wearing the e.l.f. Big Mood Waterproof Mascara. And I tight line with the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in black. And for my eyebrows, I just use the NYX uh, Brow Glue. I don't fill in my eyebrows because I think they're thick enough as it is. <laughs> See this all over on TikTok. I wonder if it's actually good. Love me a good deal. Just pick this one up. I think I'm gonna bring it home with me. Oh. <laughs> Failed. Guess how much I spent. $255 No regrets, honestly And I was checking through my stuff yesterday Because it is the next day uh, We came home really late And I had something to do um, Last night So I didn't have a chance to record But I went through the stuff yesterday And honestly It's the best feeling when you love Everything you buy So how time! <laughs> I'm gonna start off with Marshall since it's only like a couple things. I got this PJ set. Can you believe that this is a 2X? How how in the world is this a 2X? I don't understand. Like, look how tiny this is. I don't know, but I got it in 2X because I knew the material is like nylon and it's elastic so this thing is like hella tiny after having such a crazy journey with like weight loss weight gain being in different sizes in between sizes i've learned that looking at the number is like really stupid and it doesn't define who you are and their brand is even insane for putting this as 2x like i don't understand what the sizing guidelines are i don't know but anyway this was 13 dollars, and i thought it was really cute and i tried it on yesterday and it's like perfect these are the shorts and this is like the sports bra i got the i think these are the bikini like the string ones because it doesn't have like fabric at the end so i got this one and i got the regular bikini because it has like the fabric this one is 15 this one is 17 well, for size reference, I am a large. Last but not least, I'm so excited. As soon as I got into Marshalls, I went straight to the... Sh uh, oh my god, I can't say. I went straight 
to the shoe section okay because i saw on tiktok that there was a lot of like there was a lot of people finding nike shoes that were like really really cute they look like um the air max ones but they didn't have it at my marshall's however i still found these really cute shoes these ones are from reebok how cute is this oh they have comfort there's a comfort footbed good because i need this for work because i'm always on my feet at work and i got these at in eight and a half these sizes run really small for some reason because i am not an eight and a half and sneakers i'm seven and a half maybe eight depending on the design next target Ooh, i went crazy at target if you couldn't tell i definitely spent 170 dollars this is my favorite brand the l brand um i know there's a lot of people about controversy over the brand and stuff i feel like i talked about this in another video in my first hygiene shopping video that it has titanium dioxide a lot of people don't do their research and titanium dioxide is in a lot of things it's in a lot of skincare it's in a lot of i believe makeup I've seen a lot of videos where chemists talk about it so you should do your research before believing everything you see on the internet just saying because i know people mean well on tiktok but sometimes they don't give the full explanation i was curious and i was like is this the only brand that has titanium dioxide no i was looking at different brands in the feminine hygiene section and a lot of them have titanium dioxide so it's not just this brand you know it's like most of them almost all of them have them the titanium dioxide is in mineral sunscreens and it's safe for your skin so might link stuff in the bottom if you're interested but yeah these are my favorite pads i always get the ultra thin ones in every size because i hate feeling like bunched up and sometimes i wear leggings and i don't want you know people to see or know that i have pads on these size one two three four the extra long overnight and then this one's the regular so it's like a size three size one um the ultra thin liner so the smallest size so i get those are my three sizes that i usually buy from that brand so i usually never buy clothing at target i don't know why the section kind of overwhelms me because it's a hot mess every time however i know i had to get like a bra because number one it was on sale which it turned out to not be on sale so but that's fine you always need more bras because bras deteriorate and then i went to the underwear section and there was like a whole bin of clearance and i got this for 180 180 how cute is this it's so cute it's cotton it has to be cotton because um everything else rides up so and cotton is really good for your downstairs area anyway this is my favorite bra because it has no underwire um these are actually this is the lightly lined wire free bra from Auden, i think it's called it was like 15 bucks yeah and i actually got a size down i i used to get a 38b and now today is my first time buying a 36b because I'm like, you know, the bras that I have that are 38 are now, if I hook it all the way, they still feel loose. So I'm like, you know what? Let's try 36. All of my bras are this brand. I told my mom, let's go to the Valentine's um, candy section and see if they're on sale. And she said, oh, no, like the, the last time I went on the other Target, they didn't have anything. And I was like, well, you never know. So, yeah. It was 30% off. Like, I don't really eat candy, I eat chocolate. <laughs> I think I have another one of this to give to my sister. But... Oh, another food item. Well, in the food section, I bought the Poppy. I think it's called Prebiotic Soda and Watermelon. Be gut happy, be gut healthy. I am so excited to try this out because I have seen a few videos on TikTok about how like they have to use a bathroom after they drink this. And I'm gonna be real honest, my digestive system is horrible. It is so bad. And that's all I'm gonna say because um, T 
TMI. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I wanted to buy the whole case, but it was like low key expensive. And the coupon that I had was like 30% off one. So I was like, I'm just gonna try one and see if I like it and see if it actually does anything. Cause if it does, I'm definitely gonna be buying more of these. Okay. I don't know why I expected the taste to be horrible because it's a prebiotic drink. It actually tastes pretty good. I never talk about this, but I have really bad dry eyes. I wear contacts all the time, except to sleep. I have scars around my iris. Painful when they flare up, um, which I think that's one of the reasons why I have severe dry eyes. So regular eye drops don't really work on me. This is one of my favorite eye drops. I got the value size because I had a coupon, 30% off, yes. I love a good coupon. Download the Target app. Download the Target app, you will save so much money. I thought I didn't have this one, but I ch I just checked this morning and I, I have two of these. So I bought the wrong one. So I'm gonna give this to my sister, but I really like this brand for contacts. And this is something new. The brand Sustain, I think, is one of the best eye drops. However, I found this um, gel drops. I found that gel drops really do soothe my dry eyes, like, longer than regular eye drops. I literally, like, drown my eyes before I go to sleep because sometimes when I wake up, I cannot open my eyes because they're so dry. It's actually insane. And it is painful. And it's really hard to wake up. And I have to wake up early for work. So it sucks. <laughs> I told you guys I ran out of deodorant. I bought three. <laughs> this is my tried and true Dove Advanced Care. No white marks on 100 colors. I wear black all the time, so I buy this. However, I will say, so the claim, I don't know, not really 100% true. But it, it definitely um, is better than regular deodorant. I saw this a while ago at Walmart, the Dove Even Tone. Because I do have darker armpits and sometimes I get really insecure about it. And I wonder if this will actually help and I'm really curious. These deodorants are kind of expensive, like seven, six, seven dollars. I'm like, whoa, like for what? Secret was also a tried and true for me, like the regular deodorant. Okay, body washes. Method Body is my favorite, favorite brand of body wash. And these two are my favorite scents. They just smell so good. If you guys have ever smelled the, the EOS Coconut Waters Lotion, this smells exactly like it. So every time, no, I use, I was going to say every time I use this, I use a lotion. Girl, I use the lotion regardless. If you use both of them, the scent is so strong and it lingers. <sighs> it's so good yeah it smells like a clean man but like not cologne not cologne it's, it's very interesting and i really love it i think these two work great with my chemistry all right nail polish remover because we never have it at my house so i never really paint my nails but in case i do <laughs> last hygiene item is razors I got two different razors, the Gillette Venus for pubic hair and skin. I've heard so many good things about this and I don't really like shave down there. I use the trimmer. I actually use this trimmer, the the same line. I use their trimmer and it's amazing. I love it and it gives a pretty close shave for a trimmer. Stopped using razors down there because it causes a lot of irritation for me. And personally, I don't like to be completely shaven. You know, I like, I feel more comfortable if I have more. I don't know if this is TMI. Oh my God, if my dad watches this, dad, please don't, don't, no. I'm really excited to use on my like bikini area. Um, hopefully there's no like razor bumps or anything crazy like that i have high expectations for this I got the flamingo one for my underarms and for my legs i've heard good things about this brand too and it's so aesthetically pleasing and i've always wanted to try it out so i'm excited last but not least if you can only see the amount of books i have in my room that have yet to be read you'd yell at me 
but when I saw this book, 14 Ways to Die, One Killer, 13 Victims, A Million Views. Yes, I'll read you the back. It's so, it sounds so good. I'm really excited to read this. You have to murder at least three people to be called a serial killer. The magpie man is looking for his 14th victim. When Jess was seven, her mother was murdered by the magpie man. She was the first of his victims, but not the last. 10 years later, the killer is at large and Jess applies to appear on an internet reality show in which she'll be filmed once a week for a whole day. All her social media, every text, and all personal interaction will be seen by viewers. She knows this is her chance to remind the public of what she has lost and to finally find the vital clue that will lead to her mother's killer. When the show starts airing, Jess becomes public property and her life is an open book just waiting to be read. Then the anonymous text messages start and Jess begins to realize that the magpie man is watching her every move. Told in short, intense chapters, Jess's story is about risking everything to uncover a killer before he can strike again, even if she might be his next victim. I love a good murder mystery. <laughs> I'm currently editing right now and I was going to the Target bag and I realized I forgot to show you guys one thing, which is the Aquaphor, uh, the Aquaphor hand mask, Advanced Therapy. I didn't know Aquaphor made these. They have hand masks and foot masks. At my job, I I am like on the operational team. So I handle a lot of boxes, a lot of products, um, a lot of organizing, lifting heavy things. It makes my hands like really dry and crusty because of the cardboard drying out my skin. And so, yeah, I thought this would work because Aquaphor is some heavy-duty, serious stuff. So, yeah, that was my haul for Target and Marshalls. Spent $255. The number is so scary, and um, I really do not want to see that number on my credit card bill. I have no regrets, and I loved everything that I purchased. And thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. My next video, I hope to film really soon is a another makeup declutter because i'm trying to get rid of half of my makeup as you can see i don't really use makeup like that just my eyes and stuff anyway i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you on the next one bye